in January this year, we're officially going to launch a new gallery showroom in Hong Kong where we can display art and have exhibitions. We've been doing art fairs there two or three times a year for the last three years. On our last trip, I found a fantastic showroom space in central in Hong Kong, which is very much the place for all the art galleries. So it's in Hollywood Road. It's above a gallery, first floor. It's a very big space. And the purpose of this space is really a showroom for all of our Hong Kong collectors, as well as our art advisory service, which has always been strong in Hong Kong, as well as London, where people who are investing in art want to come and see the actual pieces, apart from sending them due diligent files of whatever Warhol's up to in the market and what pieces are available or in East Kapoor. This is a chance for them to come and see. And what kind of artwork will you be focusing on in the gallery in Hong Kong? Uh, really it'll be post-war contemporary, so from Francis Bacon to Warhol to Liechtenstein to Kapoor, but also the big Hong Kong names that we've always worked with, like Feng Zhenji, Zazen Gang, Ju Ming's work, because a lot of the foundations we work with internationally, they're the names they're looking at. So Yu Min Jun, all of the top, top names. Um, and then the realist group, like Ling Jian, who's behind me here, and Zhen Chuan Zing, Za Kilin, who are very, very sought after internationally. And what will you be hoping to achieve with this gallery space in Hong Kong? Hopefully it'll lead to more corporate uh, projects because we want to do the corporate collections there as well as having hosting a show probably three times a year that will coincide with Art Basel Hong Kong and with the kind of auction dates in November and June. We have so many clients in Hong Kong who've always been with us, who've been very loyal, who've been with us nearly 20 years as long as we've been in business and it's lovely to actually have a space to give them the proper kind of viewing that they deserve.